Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about how to simplify expressions with roots. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given two problems here to simplify. Square root of negative 196 and negative square root of 64. As we talked in our last video, the square root is, well, the two root, right? And so we want to ask ourselves, when we look at these, what number squared gives us that number that we're asking for? So let's look at the first one. We want the square root of negative 196, and I see a red flag right off the bat. That red flag here is that negative sign. It is inside of a square root. Can any number squared get me a negative number? Just think about it. If we have a negative number, let's say, you know, negative 5, and I want to square that negative 5 here, that's a positive 25. It's a positive number. Remember, squaring is multiply a number by itself. So if the number is negative, a negative times a negative becomes a positive, and if the number is positive, a positive times a positive is a positive. And so right now, where we are, we have no solution here. There's no solution really for a square root of a negative number. You can't do that. Now eventually you'll learn something called imaginary numbers, but for right now, if we take the square root of a negative number, it's no solution. There's no option for us. Now the second one's a little different. Our negative sign is outside the square root, and we can do this. So we have to ask ourselves what two numbers, or one number multiplied by itself, squared, gives me 64, and that's going to be 8 squared. Break it down, a little factor tree, 8 times 8 gives me that 64. Since 8 squared is equal to 64, the square root of 64 is an 8, but then we still need that negative sign out front. Keep that negative sign right there, and there we have it. Again, we have negative 8 as the answer here for the second part, negative square root of 64. And one thing to note, again, if a negative is inside the square root, we have no solution. If it's on the outside, you're good to go. I hope you learned something here on how to simplify expressions with roots. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.